Hello folks, welcome back to the Urban Riders studio. I have a jacket with me from Takano Urbano. This is the Takano Urbano Simon jacket or riding shirt, whatever you want to term it, or maybe a shacket. That is a term we've used in the past because it is sort of a hybrid between the two. And coming from Takano Urbano, this is a fantastic commuter option. It's really lightweight. It is really water resistant and it's a very attractive price point as well. It's 130 pounds on our site at the time of making this video. Let's explain some of the particulars then, starting with the color options. You can get this in a choice of either blue or gray. This has a CE safety rating of level A, and that's more appropriate for city riding, commuting, that sort of thing. It is obviously abrasion resistant. It uses a polyamide outer. It also has level one armor included at your elbows and your shoulders. That is pretty slim line and pretty unnoticeable from the outside. And of course it has a pocket for a back protector from D3O if you want to include it. Now speaking from a city rider or a commuter standing point, what is it that makes this so good? First of all, it is particularly lightweight and it does feel very light on. It has a vent just between your shoulders at your back for airflow to allow airflow out and to make it more breathable. And that works really well and doesn't get in the way of the water resistance that this shirt has either because that flap comes over the vent to stop the rain from getting in there. You have a comfort mesh liner on the inside to make it comfortable and again, more breathable. You have two pockets at your chest for storage, two around your waist. The ones on your chest actually have the zips oriented vertically as opposed to horizontally. That does make it easier to get items in or out and you have a pocket on the inside. The polyamide outer does obviously have a textile look and feel to it. One word of caution with that, depends how you want to store this, but it is a fabric that is going to crease and show creases if you are the sort of person who likes to stuff this into a bag when you're storing at work or when you're around. Obviously, if you leave this on a hanger, that's going to be less of a problem. Either way, and looks aside though, it is a really comfortable fabric and pretty decently flexible as well. And crucially has water resistance. It also has taped seams on it and it's rated I believe at about 5,000 millimeters. So that's why we say water resistant, not necessarily waterproof. But for the average city rider, that's absolutely fine. You're not sat on the bike for a particularly long period of time, probably up to about an hour or so. And obviously you're not hoping to get caught in torrential rain. If you're in London, chances are it's just gonna be a light shower or even if it's a more consistent and longer lasting shower, it's not gonna be that heavy. So it will be perfectly fine for that. For true waterproof garments, generally speaking, we would rate those around 10,000 millimeters and upwards. That tends to be about the benchmark. From my personal experience, I would definitely trust this to keep me dry on a commute. With regards to fit and comfort, they're actually quite accommodating. There's a decent amount of room and flexibility on the inside, but to use their size guide, the small is sized at a 36 inch chest up to a 38 inch chest. The medium, which is the one we've got here, is sized between a 38 inch chest up to a 40 inch chest and they go on in two inch increments. But if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments section. We will get back to you and links for these can be found in the description. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.